I'm the application scientist here at Palin Test HQ, Hannah Blacknell. A look at how photometry works. So our mantra here at Palin Test is safeguarding water for everyone every day. And we specialize in developing in-field measurement methods for analysis of water chemistry. Initially, Palin Test adopted the DPD method for use in visual color comparison kits. And these still make up part of our entry level kit options today. We have expanded from just ex testing chlorine to testing lots of different water quality parameters, allowing our customers to get an overall picture of the quality of their water. But as the need for more precise results developed, we started to offer digital methods to analyze water chemistry. And at this point, photometry became a widely adopted industry standard for in-field measurement of water quality across all applications, be that pools, drinking water or wastewater. There is such a wide range of testing methods for analysing water in fields that choosing the right one for you can be tough as not all methods are created equal. The general decision is between how easy it is to use and how reliable and accurate the results you get are and which is the most suitable for the application in which you are working. Here is a matrix which has an axis that runs from easy to do at the bottom up to hard to do at the top. And then from left to right, we have the potential accuracy. And this is a measure of the quality of the results that you can expect to, to achieve. Easy to do visual tests like test strips and drop down kits are generally quick and can be done by unskilled users, but the quality of the results is relatively low. So these met methods sit down here on the left. Lab methods such as titrations are up here on the right. And the with these, you would expect to get much more accurate results but they require a highly skilled operator and generally take much longer to do than those at the bottom. A sweet spot is often seen as the in-field photometer and reagents method. These offer high accuracy and precision with a method that a trained user will be easily able to carry out. The basis of how a photometric test works is that you add a reagent to your sample and this will make it change color. And then you read this color change using a photometer, which will give you an idea of the water quality. So how does a photometer work? Well, they measure the amount of light that makes it through a sample to the detector. The darker the color of the sample, the less light will make it through. Initially, all wavelengths of light will come out of the light source. These are reduced to a single wavelength using an optical filter and then this single wavelength will then hit the detector. The detector is really just a counter. It counts the photons that hit it. The amount of light that hits the detector is known as the percent T or the percentage of light that has been tra transmitted from the light source through the sample, through the filter, and then to the detector. The instrument will measure this percent T value through the sample in comparison to what we call the blank. The blank is the sample without any reagents in it. So without the color change, um, it's important to use a blank because light passing through a glass tube of water will behave very differently to light passing through air. So we have the percent T. Now, what do we do with it to convert it into something meaningful? So here is a typical calibration curve. Uh, this one is for free chlorine testing using DPD. The percentage T value there on the left is converted to a milligrams per liter value on the right. Um, through this calibration curve and the readout is displayed on the instrument. So in this example, 43% T on the um, left axis corresponds to one milligram per litre of chlorine. This calibration is determined in our labs and stored in the instrument memory, but all the user will see is displayed reading. All the calculation happens behind the scenes, so to speak. There are a few advantages to using a photo photometric method over some of the more basic methods. One of them being that it removes the need for user color perception. The perception of color will vary significantly from person to person, and this can introduce some serious errors into the result. Photometers take away that decision making and are also able to give more precise answers as there is no color matching of levels like in a test strip. For example, if uh, these three blue squares at the bottom were your test strip, you have a color for 50, 100 and 150. And you can only get those values. You have to choose which one matches your result closely enough. Um, with 
a photometer, you're using a continuous cal calibration curve. And so the results will be more accurate and more precise. And unlike with the test strips, you could measure 62 milligrams per litre. For some photometers, the data that you get can be stored on the instrument memory and transferred to our app portal or to a computer for analysis and auditing 